you can't find yourself in life. Ain't no such thing as finding yourself. Life is not about finding yourself. It is about creating yourself. Hey, yeah, no, I can't stand you. I might be all wrong, but for my heart, you were a bad man. Blue Rex 500, my neck tight. Pointers on my hand, shit shine. Fit. OG in the booth, OG fogging up the room. No, I can't see. Please stop calling me. B squad, you know what the fuck it is, my my nigga, my partner. Ha! Well, guess what we here to talk about today? You know, B. Now check this shit out. Listen to me. First video we talked about. I hope it don't take away from my credibility that I had to go figure out what the fuck the first video was about. Yeah, but I did. So check this out. First video we talked about staying motivated and all such good shit. Second video we talked about earlier today. Yes, the last video, like fucking an hour ago. We talked about man, super self confident, understanding what is it taking yourself to make you the best you. The fuck you can be and in this video we're gonna talk about motherfucking the one lie that is constructed in the world which is fucking finding yourself in the world i had to tell pi this first video was actually for her my little nigga has trouble with that shit but she working hard and that's the fucking best part about it but today the biggest lie that is told to people especially motherfuckers with mental health issues and things of that sort you can't find yourself in life ain't no such thing as finding yourself life is not about finding yourself it is about creating yourself understanding who you are and understanding that you have to go through shit you have to do shit you have to not be scared in order to build who the fuck you want to be and be who you want to be so people spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to get scammed every fucking year for people to tell them this is what you gotta do, you gotta find yourself. You gotta go to fucking Africa to find yourself. Ain't none of that, my dog. You have to understand one concept first, which is there is no success without conquer. There is no greatness without fucking defeat the, the defeat of fear. As you see in the last two videos, the concept of it is still you have to not be scared. Ain't no fucking telling who listening to me talk about this shit right now over there, over there. That's actually the penitentiary. That's the fucking jail right there. But ain't no telling who listening to me talk about this and absorbing this shit because at the end of the day, it is what it is. If you love to draw, if you love to make videos, if you love to go out and do shit, if your passion is riding bicycles, and if you like the whole point of this video not knowing what the fuck it is that you good at doing in life, you have to go out and experience shit. I started doing videos because I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do. And everything that you do to try to figure that out, you have to go hard at it. As if you, you have to do it until your body, your soul, and your mind resonates with whatever you're doing, like my shit do to me. The first thing I'm good at doing Doing, which is drawing. I can draw and paint. That ain't what I would love to do in my life and what I want to do for a career, but I'm good at it. When I was doing it, I was drawing all types of shit. Every like a motherfucker. I was really F putting my fucking life and my effort into drawing pictures all the time. Because as far as I was concerned, bitch, I want to be an artist. This is what I need. I didn't want to do that. For a career but i still do it but i realized that it's not my career path so i picked up a motherfucking microphone some years later me and my homie was rapping he's like you want to get on a song i'm like oh shit i've been wanting to get on a song with a nigga for a minute niggas didn't want to trust me like that so i got on a song when i thought i wanted to be a rapper man i fucking dropped four songs a day talking about back and this was like what 2013 14 i mean before the summer before i started doing videos i started doing videos in 2014 and this was 2014 like the beginning of the year when school was going on we was dropping five songs nigga fresh off the bus five songs four five songs a day we went to number one in the fucking whole northeast of louisiana on fucking reverb nation in a week we wrote a song for a motherfucking funeral we was working because i was like shit i want to be a rapper and god damn it i'm gonna be the best fucking rapper it is when i realized that wasn't what i was supposed to be doing because i got in trouble and ended up fucking having couldn't do it so i had to pursue something else i started doing video and i went at that shit with my fucking gun cocked whatever that my fucking work gun i had that bitch ready to go i started dropping videos every fucking day just like i do now i'm talking about everything i watch every fucking youtube video it is about how to grow how to get beat i watch every motherfucking article that it was about how to grow social media marketing read every book i did every fucking thing i could do to be the best that i wanted to be in making videos nigga. and i did found out that making videos and doing comedy and uplifting people and bringing something valuable to the fucking world was what I wanted to do and that's what I do to this day and that's how I became the fucking best. So with that being said, you have to take chances. You have to take risks. You have to constantly put effort out there into the world to get that same thing back before you figure out what it is that you want to do. There is no finding yourself in life. You are the only one of you. You can't go into another country and expect to find another motherfucker who got some tips for you that's just going to help you open some shit that's already in you. Only person can discover something in yourself for yourself is yourself. The next person can't do shit. I can't do shit but tell you. I can't do shit but plant the seed and put it in your mind. You got to go do the work. 
work you can do and be whatever the fuck it is you want to do or be my nigga and don't you ever in your life forget no shit like that ever you don't need to give a motherfucking 35 dollars just so he can fucking tell you you gotta go find yourself you gotta take a trip i took a trip to belize and found my damn self no he didn't he found himself in line to a bunch of fucking vulnerable people that don't know something that he feel like he could lie and extort the fuck out of you are the key to your success you are the biggest tool to your greatness if this building right here is your success let me show you this is your success this is everything that you have become this is the success of your entire fucking life if this building ain't here and it was just nothing here but fucking grass you couldn't find this bitch because it don't exist it's not fucking there yet somebody out here looking for this building before it was built couldn't find the motherfucker because it wasn't here yet but the ground was the foundation was that's you you are the fucking ground you just have to go out and create the fucking success that you want. And I know you can do it. And I know you can do it. If motherfuckers can get rich lying to people and taking advantage of the things that they don't understand instead of putting the knowledge out there and helping them, then I know you can get rich doing the shit the right way. Got to be. Two minute and did it. So open your mouth. Pick up your feet. So wake yourself up in the morning and go be the best version of yourself and continue to do shit, fail that shit, get back up. It ain't about how many times you fail. Everybody fall down, shit. You can't ride a bike without falling off that motherfucker. It ain't about how many times you fail. It's about how many times you get the fuck back up when you fall. Don't nobody talk about a nigga that hit the ground. Nobody. Every rapper that fell off, nobody talk about him no more because he fell off. But we sure gonna talk about every successful person in the world that fell and got the fuck up. Niggas always talk about a comeback. When's the last time you had a conversation with somebody and they was like, Hey man, that nigga fell off. That's so tight. Fuck. <laughs> that conversation probably lasts 30 minutes after y'all get through clowning his ass. But when's the last time you had a conversation about, man, that motherfucker came back. Nigga got out of jail and came up and made a million. And shit, that conversation a whole lot longer than he fell. And that was the, that's the end of him. Shit, he just fell and stayed on the ground. Ain't shit else to it. But the story lasts a lot longer when a motherfucker can say, oh, he fell. He got up. He made money. He chased it. He chased it. He made more money. He chased it. He fucked the girl. Had a baby. Chased it and stayed rich. Oh, shit. That story go on and on till you fucking die. So I just want you to know, you do not have to find yourself. You have to build yourself. You have to create yourself. You have to go be everything that you want to be and do whatever the fuck it takes to be that within your moral parameters. You don't have to make a moral compromise and compromise the things that you believe in just to have the shit that you want. You just have to be willing to go that route. Walk through that grass. Build that fucking house i love y'all and with that being said man i want you to chase and be everything that you want to be everybody spam w's in the comments man i'm gonna fucking pick one Ugh. i'm gonna pick five people out of all the people that spam w's in the comments and i'm gonna send y'all each one of these necklaces for free you feel me i love y'all i'm out b squad fuck shit savage you know what the fuck it is nigga. <laughs>